Texture packs slash resource packs, they're the exact same thing for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let's go ahead and get them. So first things first, you want to download some resource packs. Now, sure, you can go purchase them on the Minecraft store, but you don't have to do that. You can actually download them, assuming you're on iOS, Android, or Minecraft for Windows or PC. You can download these and install them. We're going to download John Smith Legacy and Depixel here today, but we do have a few other options as well for Texture packs you can download and install for free in Bedrock Edition. Now, as you can see here, we have Minecraft Bedrock 1.24 John Smith Legacy. Let's go ahead and click the download link there, and it will download. One thing that's worth noting is that if you are on iOS or Android, when it downloads, if you have the option to click the file, click it. It will automatically open up Minecraft and install the pack. If you're on Windows, you don't have to worry about that as much. It's easier to find the file. If you do lose the file on iOS or Android, you'll need to use the Files app on iOS or download a file manager on Android to locate the file and then click on it. It should then open up in Minecraft. So keep that in mind. Something I always like to note right away when we download one of these Bedrock resource packs because things are a bit different there. We're also going to get Depixel, so we can click Get It for Bedrock and then the Lite version there and it will start downloading. While that is downloading, having a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft Bedrock server. There you can set your Bedrock server up in just one click and start playing with your friends instantly. Whether on Android, iOS, or Windows, you can all play together on one central server, and you can manage it incredibly easy all from our dedicated game panel. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft Bedrock server. Now, as I said, we want to find these files. For us on Windows, they're just in our downloads folder. You may need to uh, locate them in the, you know, files app on Android or iOS because, well, you do need to locate them. And then once you've found them, though, it's actually really easy. Just uh, double click on them. So double click on John Smith Legacy. It's going to open up and install the texture pack, the resource pack. It's the same thing right in the game. So as you can see, Minecraft is opening. Once it's open, it will start importing right away, right at the top. Import started, and then it will go through an import, and then wait for it. There it is. Successfully imported John Smith Legacy Bedrock. We can go ahead and repeat this process really fast for Depixel. Just double click on it import started and then as you can see it's going to go ahead and successfully import the pixel now to activate these go into settings and then you want to scroll down to the left hand side to global resources then under my packs you will find your resource packs here let's go ahead and activate john smith legacy by clicking on it and clicking activate it will move it up here and then we can go ahead and play in game now in rare cases it won't activate like this and in game specifically it won't be active even though it is active on the main menu here why is that? Well, it can be because you have a game-specific resource pack. So if we go into play here and hit the little editing arrow, we can see on the left-hand side we have resource packs. And you can add in active resource packs on a per-world level. I believe these override your global resource packs. So if you have issues, go add the pack here in this uh, resource pack section on a per-world basis. But unless when we go ahead and play, we will see that, sure enough, this pack is active and your resource pack is installed. It's that simple, that easy, and that quick to get resource packs in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Again, this works on iOS and Android as well. And there you go, John Smith Legacy is active. Definitely not the default Minecraft look. Now, I wish we could change these in game, but if we go into settings here, we'll have the global resources option, but we can't, we can't activate anything, we can't do anything. So we actually have to navigate back to the main menu in order to change or remove a resource pack. And to do that, you would just go into global resources, you go under active, select John Smith Legacy, and click deactivate. And then we want to activate the pixel light. So go in here and click activate right like so. And then boom, it's not going to activate the pack. Refresh, reload things for the pixel light to work. As you can see, it's literally loading those in front of us. And there we go. Now this pack is active and we can go play with it in Minecraft. Super simple, super easy. And that's how you can add any resource pack you want. If you find it online, make sure it's safe and all of that stuff. All of the texture packs that we have on our website are approved. We can see that Depixel is in fact working great. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.